close myself up in those eyes <laughs> I just had to let you know your Morning, Ephrata. I'm Mary. I'm Clay. I'm just overwhelmed by emotions from that Ethan Brubaker intro. That was just so beautiful. Love it. Today is Monday, April 23rd. <laughs> Please rest for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Tomorrow, April 24th, is the last day to quickly and easily change a course for next year. If you would like to modify your course requests, be sure to submit the necessary paperwork which can be found in your Schoology resource folder, or stop by the counseling office to pick up a change form. As a reminder, you can view your proposed courses for next year in your community portal account. The listing is in the file cabinet under the reports area. Might I suggest taking a course with Mr. Bischoff? <laughs> 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 Attention all 9th and 10th grade students planning on to attend college or a post-secondary school. We will be hosting a financial aid night in partnership with the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency on Thursday, April or May 10th and from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the AHS Auditorium. Come, come to learn more about career, career exploration, post-secondary planning, and student borrowing. Don't forget to bring your laptops and your parents. This is a great opportunity to plan for your futures today. Hey freshmen, don't forget that your fundraiser, the fantastic no sub sale, is currently taking place. Papers and money can be returned to Dr. Gambler in room 214 at any time. The sale will run through the 25th, so get those donations and get your money in today. At 740 this morning, all students who are planning on taking an AP exam should report to the cafe for a mandatory AP pre-administration session. Please bring a number two pencil. Again, all AP students are t who are taking this exam should report to the cafe at 7.40 as this meeting is required. Now over to Seth with the news. Hello, Afrida. Today in the news, we are taking a break from the sad, discouraging news that is taking place in the world today and focusing on much simpler, local, and wholesome news. Welcome to Seth's Farmer News. Here's an update about the moveless events happening on Seth's farm, my farm. <laughs> have you noticed the warmer weather outside? Well, I sure have. Warm weather means it's time to saddle up the horses and start planting our crops. Time to plant all, those, all that corn that you see in the fields. In cow news, we had a new baby calf born yesterday. Did you know that a baby cow can stand and walk after only being alive for 30 minutes? That's amazing! It's true, look it up, I saw it. What a beautiful <laughs> creature. Not like I'm biased or anything. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for listening to Seth's Farm News. Now, on this day in history, we recognize both the birth and death of William Shakespeare. According to tradition, Shakespeare was born on this day in 1564 and died 52 years later on the same day. That's interesting. You've more than likely been exposed to Shakespeare's plays once or twice, unfortunately, and regardless of your opinions on them, it's impossible to argue against the influence they have made on modern literature. Also, today is the birthday of the only Pennsylvania-born president, James Buchanan. Happy birthday to the both of you, even though you're both dead. Now back to the main desk with lunch. Today we have spaghetti and meatballs with whole grain Texas garlic toast. Chicken and bacon Swiss on a whole grain roll. An Italian grinder. BLT with cheese on whole grain toast with a chef salad. French fries. Seasoned green beans. Fresh baby carrots or celery with dip. Chilled peaches, fresh fruit or... Slushy. Now we're to sports. Hey, let's crack a lack in Africa. In sports resorts, baseball won 11 9 at McCaskey. Boys lacrosse won 11 8 at Cedar Crest. Tennis lost to Hemfield. Girls lacrosse lost versus Cedar Crest. And softball won 2010 at home versus McCaskey. Jaden Mays recorded the win and struck out five batters in five innings pitch. The Ephrata track and field team had a successful trip to the Shippensburg Invitational this past Saturday. 
as the team came home with one school record and five personal records. Tyler Shu nailed down the 800 meter run school record by winning the race at a time of 155.17. Holy crap! Teammate Alex Morales also set a PR at the same race, finishing fifth overall in 157.05. Oh my gosh! Eli Bazenga did not set a PR, but he did win the high jump at 6 feet 4 inches. What a beast! And Dawson Miller placed third in the, in the pole vault with a school record, tying the school record at 13 feet 6 inches. Atta boy! The boys' 4x800 meter relay team also won at Chip running a time of 8.02.42. Yeah, mediocre. On the school team, Madison Martin ran a personal record in the 400 meter dash and finished 6th with a time of 60.39. Way to go! Mary Campbell set a PR and finished 6th in the 600 meter run with a time of 5.17.89. Nice! And the girls' 4x100 meter relay ran a PR with a time of 51.59. Way to go, that's awesome. Congratulations to all track and field athletes who competed at Shippensburg, and best of luck as you race on when you take on Mannheim Central today at the middle school track. Today in sports, baseball is home versus Cedar Crest, track is home versus Mannheim Central, softball is away at Cedar Crest, and I'm home because I don't do sports. Now back to the main desk. Pick on a senior day is coming up. It will be held on May 11th. Here's your chance to pin on one of the seniors and dress them in the most creative way possible. Bidding will be held in the cafeteria during your lunch from April 24th through May 8th. Seniors who choose to participate should sign up during lunch. If you have any questions, stop down and see Mr. Marsuck in room 137. We hope to see everyone wearing white or gray today to represent lung and brain cancer, as this is the Relay for Life Spirit Week, and there's only two days away for Relay for Life. If you, do not have, if you have not yet donated, there is still time. Also, if you would like to participate in a friendly competition during your walking time, you may sign up at lunch. That's it for us today, Ephrata. Have a great day out on the farm, Seth. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs>